Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast number 25 with special guest this week, Coney. Hey all. Hey all. Hi everybody from the other side of the planet. Hi and, everybody. Uh, this week, Coney's doing our intro. As you know, we've got different intros every week. Mm-hmm. Coney, let's hear it. You've prepared something, <laughs> nice of course. Yo, what's going on, podcast world? It's the Underdogs Podcast again. We're on episode 25, <laughs> and I'm the special guest this week. It's Cody. Damn, there he killed that. that. I don't, think, killed that. Good, yeah. right? I don't yeah. think we ever asked someone to do that again because it will not be beaten. <laughs> we, we tried to put him on the spot. We thought it was going to make it awkward, but then you're just too much of a chat. <laughs> it was I'm, I'm gonna. I've 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 worked in radio, bro. It's just yelling and doing fake sound effects. Wait, I was gonna say that was a classic radio mixed with a bit of announcing yourself in like a wrestling match. I didn't know you yeah. worked in radio though. Uh, briefly, yeah. I I <laughs> it's a really funny story. I used to work at a radio station out in like the boonies where I live that was only listened to by like. 60 70 year old cowboys and i would play like <laughs> dance and like electronic music so nobody was listening to it the cowboys <laughs> like a bit of electronic music absolutely not yeah, under no thinking. circumstances but 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 it was a chance for me to like learn radio equipment and stuff because i was into broadcasting so mm. uh, you're ahead of the curve i, I they just do like- use this experience they have like the old town road in that now the country <laughs> electric, you know crossover that's yeah. true yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're blending the worlds a bit, you know. Those the song's written about down. you, I'm pretty sure. I think that's what they had in mind. Your early radio yeah, yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the easier audience to cater to? 60, 70 year old cowboys or your current Twitch chat? What would they be like? 20 oh. year old smashers? <laughs> oh, I feel like I've got some cowboys in there too. I'm sure I've got some <laughs> <They> follow <laughs> and I, you know, That's usually my main demo. Wait, uh, describe for us your average Twitch chatter. As brutally as uh, you want to. Sure, yeah. Probably um, a 20... D- d- pro- d- d- okay, I have two different types of chatters. I have like... Or three. I have like a 28-year-old that knew from me from Project M and hates mm. what I'm doing now <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. I used to just play video games. Where's I have a... Yeah, <laughs> I have a 22-year-old who, like, found about me from Smash and is in college and uh, loves the rock memes, and <laughs> a 16-year-old that came from, like, Alpha Rad Deluxe, and now I'm in the Alpha Rad Extended Universe, and now they just show up in my chat, too. So it's exactly the people. same as our audience, <laughs> <laughs> other than we probably don't have the oldies. We haven't got the 28-year-old. Probably yeah. the same we thing. Can't, yeah. can't all hit the boomer crowd like you do, Kony. <laughs> wait, does Kony know... Yeah. Wait, does Kony... Because Kony can't see us. Does he know the difference in our voices? Do you know who's even chatting right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Poppet, and oh, I know okay. Jackson's there, and oh, I know... Well. Yeah, I know you guys. He's Come on the case. He's, He's on, on the, the case. case. We Ooh, thought we were about to come bust on. him. <laughs> I've been there. I met you all. Yeah, we've met. People don't know that. We met how long ago now? Almost two years ago or no, something. More right? than two. More years than ago. two. It's got to be. It was a Three. while ago. Was yeah, I, Smash I, Ultimate, I remember like we played years. in tournament, and I was so confident to fight. I'm good against Ness, and I was like, "Oh, I'll be fine." And then you beat the shit out of me. Wow, good. So that was the only experience you had versing an underdog in tournament. I've heard from that trip. Well, no other. <laughs> hold on, because me and Jackson also did some sick doubles. Oh plays yeah, we actually we did. did uh, oh. Up. Came a clean at 49th yeah. or something to that extent. <laughs> something like that. We popped <laughs> off at doubles, and uh, I think that's the only experience. I don't think I played any of you other. I don't think that's it. No, no go on. You can you it. can tell him. I'll let you. Okay, I can tell him. Okay. Wait, I, I actually, I'm 1-0 with Little Z in tournament. Really? <laughs> yeah, I actually he, didn't he, know that. He knocked me out of the tournament. Really? That I was running, probably all that stress was getting to yeah, my head. Yeah, yeah. That's what you sure. say if you were uh, Ah, you were tense. You yeah. were playing pretty tense. You were playing pretty tense. I could Not tell. like the. Uh, the America Australia jet lag or in a different country none of that <laughs> Cody <laughs> was like chilling that. dude <laughs> we should probably give a bit I, uh, of uh, background on you Coney for anyone that sure. is by chance listening to this podcast and doesn't know you uh, I'll, I'll let you you know job interview style give us like a fun fact about you just tell <laughs> us what you do mate and tell us yeah, Tony went above and beyond it. as well uh, so I've I've just been in Smash forever it's been like I've I've been playing Smash since 2010 I think 2011 so maybe like 11 12 years now I uh, started with Brawl because I played melee with my friends and I was better than all my friends and I said that I was gonna play Brawl because I thought that 
all the melee pros were older than me. And I was like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll just get into Brawl when I get into college. And then I found out that Mewtwo King, Chillin', they're all younger than me. And I'm like, well, shit, <laughs> I should have played Melee. Uh, and then I played Brawl, and then I played PM, and then I played Smash 4, and then I started commentating once I couldn't be a player anymore. Because once you hit a certain age, you can't keep up with these goddamn college kids who have nothing over. but time. What's, what's with the kids? They play a lot, like, dude. And then, like, <laughs> Ak Ak yeah. Akala's coming out, and obviously you've got Spargo being there for a while. But it just seems like none of the old players, and like now I feel a bit old because whenever I yeah. go to do like uh, me versus a top player, I'll think of like uh, Larry Lerb, Mars, Whitey, like all these people that are definitely really good players still. But like then you look at the they're top too old ten now, players, dude. they're old, and yeah, the Get kids them out are, of here. oh, they're moving up. I know exactly what it is. Other sports and stuff, like the thirty-year-olds are better, right? Smash Bros, there's no reason to keep playing. <laughs> There's just the kids play, right? If you're 25 and you're yeah. still grinding, it's like, hang on. Even if I win this tournament, even if I come fifth, I get 75 bucks or whatever the hungry box. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I think, I yeah. think that's what it is. I think you're only going to be grinding it if you're like, you know, at uni or at school. Well, that's how you got out, yeah, right, that's, Tony? That's you got actually, a real yeah. job? It, it, what it is, is it's like... It's just a matter of time and how much you're playing it. And I feel like in other games, it's like, whether it's Street Fighter or, like, games that have been established for longer, it's like, yeah, you got, like, 40-year-olds in that game, but they have, like, 20 years of experience and decision-making. And in this game, it's just, like, every game is so completely different from the last one that you have to start with a brand-new slate. Mm. And you've got these 16, 17 year olds who have nothing to do. Like, I used to do, when I was good at Brawl, I would literally just skip co college. I was in school and I would just <laughs> not go to class to travel. Mm. No, I feel like, so I up. was doing it too, you know? <laughs> I did that, but I never got good. I don't know what happened to I that. actually did that once when I went to Melbourne ah. for like two months. Just skip uni. I, I just did uni online. Worst of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> you either quit and get a real job, or you play long enough to see yourself become a content creator. <laughs> Honestly, all the content creators it's are like ex-top players, you know, ex-players uh, now turned commentator. <laughs> us. It's the exit strat. Even it's a good Ludwig idea, was a melee player. It really is. Oh, yeah, Ludwig was Ludwig a melee, was a melee player. player and a commentator. Yep. And then he was like, hang on. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Honestly, it's so much... I, I don't know how... It, like, when I see, like, a... Th if I see, like, a 30-year-old player that didn't even try content creation, I'm like, oh, my God, brother, you missed the boat. Shut like, I, yeah. I, I can't even imagine... Imagine trying like, to be a content creator in your 30s now, too. <laughs> <laughs> Without starting younger, oh my god! Yeah, where do you even begin? How do you how do you feel about being like full time content creator now? Because you've been on the up and up uh, recently. Only reason you managed to make it onto the podcast, really. We've seen your numbers. We couldn't ignore the numbers any longer. We said, get this guy in here now. Yeah, I mean, I, I asked like a few. Yeah, I asked a few years ago, and you guys just ignored me. So I'm mm -hmm. happy that you guys uh, returned my call this time. This podcast no was a year. It was a yearly yeah. podcast back then. <laughs> Started doing <laughs> weekly. We quickly ran out of stuff to talk about, so we were like, fine. Ah, we'll so now I'm here. Fine. Okay, eventually. I would uh, say we answer uh, your DMs, but it's the exact opposite. I have to send Tony <laughs> about 500 DMs per one it's message true. I get back. And I found out the new strat is going into his Twitch stream. The other day, I yeah. actually dropped a Twitch Prime to Kony <laughs> with a message saying, can you respond to my fucking DM so we can organize the podcast? He didn't even say yeah. thanks for the sub. Oh. <laughs> fucking He's too, big now. I, He's too big If I had to thank every sub I got, I would be there all night. Oh, that would be the whole stream. Massive. Alpha had joined I'm the stream popular. and subbed later. You said thanks to him. That's him, mate. Okay. Yeah, That's well, uh, you know, I, 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 you have to make a decision sometimes as a content creator, okay? <laughs> you got to make some prios. So. This podcast is just a trap. We're like, kind of you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but what was the question? This again? is why I didn't How's say it? yes. No, I, I, uh, it's, it's hard because, like, dude, I'm on, like, ten different platforms between Slack for work and Discord and Twitter, and I just forget to check them a lot of the time. I swear it's not personal. I promise. No, that's if okay. you're in Twitch chat, I'll notice because I have to, like, it's my job to read every goddamn message that comes through at that time, you know? I'm, like, locked in. Yeah, that's fair enough. Your Twitch is doing well there as well, go. right? I see you're just kind of more variety now, is it? It seems like. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I'm doing pretty good. I think the issue that I have right now is I can't play a goddamn video game. Uh, <laughs> what do you I'm mean? Love variety, you too much. The curse is... Yeah, 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 the curse is on variety if you, like... If you watch YouTube or if you just talk mm. or if I literally fold laundry, it'll get more viewers than if I try to play like Fall Guys. Oh. It's crazy. Twitch is weird. What is that? Yeah, that's interesting. That's what I want to do. Kanye's probably just not very good at games and very good at talking. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's not true. Yeah, I'm that super makes good. That makes sense. Papa beat me in tournament. Now he's just going to talk all this shit. You see? <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, I lose no. one set to this guy. Is that your? But do you even want to even want to play games? Like, is that your, uh, do you want to get to that point or are you happy just, just doing the talking thing? No, I want to get to that point because honestly, I, and I'm sure you've run into this like as a content creator, it's like coming up with constant new ideas. Uh, mm. I think particularly for Twitch where you are on a schedule as opposed to YouTube where it's just like you're kind of scheduled, but you could just, you know, if a video doesn't come out, it's like you can release whenever you want. Um on Twitch, coming up with ideas constantly is kind of exhausting, especially with, like, you know, I'm married, I got a kid, I got a full-time job. It's like, if content was the full-time thing, I think it'd be better off, but, like, with all the other stuff, it's like, eh. Sometimes I just want to play a video game, you know what I mean? Just chill out. Wait, you have a full-time job other than Twitch? Panda. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, I'm working right, for Panda. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So I I'm see. working on stuff so for the circuit. Uh, we'll do stuff for, like, sponsorships, stuff like that. So, oh, yeah. that's awesome. Hmm. Yeah. Never get messaged uh, about Panda myself from Coney though. <laughs> <So> <laughs> you're gonna stop parading so. Coney <laughs> on this podcast. No, no, that no, is no, Josh's no. job to deal with you specifically. Okay. No, so. I'm I'm done with Coney. We are uh, <laughs> <laughs> never gonna get another guest. We can hang no. up. We can hang up. <laughs> no, no. But um, because me and Coney were at CEO two weeks ago ish. Oh. And uh, that, w that was actually really awesome. What, what was that tournament like for you? Because obviously an Australian going to America, I kind of understand, you know, I'm in Florida. Daytona Beach wasn't the best. The tournament didn't have sure. that many top players. So, but for me, I'm in America. So I'm like 10 out of 10. Like, it's fantastic. Uh, I loved it, honestly. I really liked CEO. Maybe it was because it was more like... I didn't have many blocks that weekend, so I got to hang out. Like, you and I got to hang out a bunch. I got to hang out with um, a lot of the commentators a lot. Like, I loved it, but probably because I didn't have to do, like, hours and hours of labor. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is which sometimes happens at tournament. Like, when you sign up for a tournament, you don't know as a commentator, like, am I working two hours a day or six to eight hours mm -hmm. a day? And sure. you just get paid whatever it is so yeah, yeah ceo was awesome i loved it when you were doing the announcer thing for ceo you just you know announce the people coming out and then go backstage where your stream was running that i was oh yeah uh, <laughs> popped in uh for quite a bit on as well you're literally just streaming uh on the, the grind bro yeah. non-stop dude it was fun it was well i mean like because i usually stream on sundays and if i'm at a tournament like not streaming you know, I would I would like to be able to. We got set up on the side. By the way, they got mad at us for that. I don't know if you know that. I so, think I do uh, know we, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because, and like, <laughs> for good reason. They were upset because, like, you know, we're backstage. And, like, you know, if they said something that the, that audiences or, like, the public wouldn't be privy to, like an announcement or something. You know, it, it leaked on my stream. They would have been upset. Oh, so. fucking Sonics in Grand Finals. <laughs> this daughter was going too late. No one wants the to watch us. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying if we yeah. tune into your stream at tournaments instead of the actual tournament stream, we might get more info. <laughs> we might get some oh, secret absolutely. backstage <laughs> secret problematic talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get the pro and, and all the drama, all the players just talking shit about each other. That's what I was hoping for anyway. Everybody was too goddamn nice. So, you know, that didn't happen. So. <laughs> but no, we got to um we got to hang out a bunch. That was really good cuz I hadn't really met the whole it was great. commentator crowd. We went out for lunch at the uh, Ocean Deck. Got anything you want to say about that one? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. one of us got yeah. recognized and uh <laughs> Yeah, so we went there I, with a group of like Yeah. What, like nine people? Who who was with us? It was a bunch. It was me, you, Josh, Charles, uh, TK, e -E. E -E. TK, and yeah, Ron. a bunch of people. Like a lot of the commentators. Yeah, the commentators. Yeah, Jackie, who's on the stats team. Like it, it was a ton. Probably like eight or nine people. Yeah, hmm. going out to lunch. 
It's huge. And uh, oh, you, you, tell it, you tell it. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was it. You we went home. No, no, no. Burgers. Yeah, that was Coney, fucking you, delicious. <laughs> you tell the story. I'll, ch- I'll chime in when I think it's bullshit. You, you go for it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Well, I can't. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, so we, we, we all, all go out to lunch, and we couldn't find anywhere else, so we go to this place, and as we walk past the host, we're like, yeah, eight or nine people, and everybody else walks past, but I'm in the back, and the host makes eye contact with me, and he says, wait, I know you, and I'm like, maybe, he's like, are you, do you do, like, video game stuff? I'm like, yeah, I'm Coney, he's like, oh my god, let's get a picture, and it was, it was such an ego boost, because... He walked past Josh, Little Z, E.E., e. Charles. He walked past a rogues gallery of Smashers, but I'm the guy he stopped. Hell it was a yeah. personal experience just for me. It was huge. Wow. And then I was kind of fucking around a little bit. Like, I, my ego wasn't too hurt, but I did. Uh, then <laughs> on our way out of the restaurant, uh, I think that was when he asked <laughs> to get a picture I asked him, yep. do you know me? And he was like, no, sorry. I was like, <laughs> I was like, little Z. And he was like, no. And then I was like, all right, do you want me to take your picture with Kenny? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> little Z. I was bringing up my YouTube. I was like, this thumbnail, look. He's <laughs> He was like, I've, I've got a million. You know that, right? Like a mil- He didn't care. He ca- he didn't care one bit at all. He Big wanted man the code. Yeah, yeah. Give me some of the code. Yeah. Give me it some was all me. <laughs> Yeah, Do I don't have still- a, th- a hundred thousand subs yet, but you know, I, he's one of the eighty-five k. So God bless that guy. Do you have like many good or bad experiences with fans? Because like you go to a bunch of tournaments. For me, I'm in America one oh. weekend. I'm gonna say hi to every fan. Like it's very novel for me. Oh, honestly. yeah. Why you think sure. of that answer? It is definitely, I'm sure, a very different vibe between Australian tournaments mm. where you've been to Coney. It's like I don't know. Our major right. tournament has like two hundred people. Everyone kind of knows each other. There's not really fanboy yeah. moments. I imagine for him there probably was. I no. I oh true when he was here. Mm. That's a good point. But I imagine. No, oh yeah. Oh hold on. Yeah. No, I was gonna say when I was in Australia, it was pretty chill. I didn't get that much in terms of like the fanboy moments or anything. Mm. Um, what the feeling that I got when I was down there uh, a few years ago is it did very much feel like. You guys have the feeling of the old Brawl Majors that we used to have. So, like, back in, like, 2010, 2011, Mm -hmm. because, like, the Majors are sort of small and Mm. tight-knit. There's that experience of, like, you know, Sydney and Perth, people coming together, right? Or Melbourne or whatever it is, wherever your your (laughs) best players are. It's like, East and West Coast will come together, like, a few times a year. um, Exactly, yeah. Which I think... Yeah, and that was a big thing back in Brawl where it was like we had a couple huge majors and they would only meet a few times a year. In Ultimate, it's just like, Jesus Christ, dude, there's a major every single week. Mm-hmm. So oh, people been talking lose kind about of that, that experience. The big yeah, people travel so much. Out. I like, also, everyone's, qu- everyone's quitting, <laughs> all the pro players at the moment. I, yeah. I also imagine it's that. And then at American tournaments, is there a bit more of like maybe like a fanboy kind of culture or something i don't know because i imagine like you see mkla or you see right. tweak they probably have so many fans if there's like thousands of people rocking up definitely yeah 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 i i think it's less so than it used to be obviously because like we're four uh four years into the game mm. but oh yeah there's all kinds of stuff uh it depends on the tournament though like if you go to something like a like a big house which is more of like a prestigious like a tournament or like a genesis uh, Smash Con is meant to be the like, worst, a, like an actual right? tournament, but if you go to Smash Con, mm. oh my god, yeah. you're getting stopped. Yeah, you're getting stopped every 15 minutes. Oh, Alpha wow. Red had a massive Crazy. line oh, at Smash Con, and I went in the line. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alpha Red. That was um, well. You had that too. You were you were. At, I remember uh, you were at Smash Con. You had like a yeah. big crowd of people around you at one point. It was fun. Did I? Oh, yeah, must have. Yeah. <laughs> Not a big crowd of people around me at CEO. Oh, I've fallen off. <laughs> yeah, sadly. <laughs> no, had to put a big monitor on your chest to get people to talk to you there. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that was great. I wish the I could <laughs> do more videos like that at tournaments. I don't like people that go to these big American tournaments, and like if you want to be a content creator, you just do like dumb stuff like that. Like people like fatality and the top players that are content creators i guess they enter the tournament actually <laughs> yeah, what only are they doing at these oh, tournaments yeah. only the person the- WTV on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh but yeah it I leaves more room for my ideas so <laughs> the problem is you gotta like if you like to get the sponsor to go to the tournaments you have to like win 
tournaments, which means you can't do content because then mm-hmm. if you do content, you're not focusing on winning. It's like it's that constant pull. It's the same thing mm. that like I don't know. Like everybody talks about the Mars thing because like he got a taste of the content creator lifestyle, and now it's like how do you focus on competition again? It seems hard, dude. I don't but, know. But I think it's uh, heavily overrated people doing well compared to the content, right? Like with Panda, we're focused more on you know Esam, oh, yeah. Mars, and Wadi are obviously there because they're one they're good players, but they're also all content creators and we all mesh well on the Panda channel. And I feel like they get a lot more out of the content creation side of things than other sponsors that just go for the really good players that don't have like the Twitch and the YouTube Mm. and that. I think content creation is super underrated for top players because like once you're good, you have enough eyes on you, then just push that into content. Like forget about being good once you're good. (laughs) That's my my theory. Yeah, that's the best funnel, is, like, tournaments aren't... Like, if you're trying to make it, like, financially sustainable, you use tournaments as a way to get your name out there, and then that builds an audience that you transfer Mm. to something else, which, like, kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it kind of sucks if you really like the game, though, because there's always been that, like, you've got people and personality, like, Tweak, who doesn't want to be a personality. Like, Tweak just wants to be the best player Mm. in the world, like... Or, like, Eleven, I think. He he sort of leaned into the personality thing. But, like, back in the day, he just wanted to be the best player. And then he realized that he had to, like, be an asshole on social media to, like, get attention. It's like, okay, well, that creates controversy, which gets narratives and blah, 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 all that bullshit. Leffen's kind of like the Jake Paul of Smash Bros. (laughs) A little bit. (laughs) Fucking quote me on that. Just hit me there. A little. Just hit me there. A little maybe. (laughs) Yeah, I, I uh, I think some people early on realized that, like, that is the play yeah. to get to make it work. What are we? Yeah. What are we the <laughs> the <laughs> famous YouTubers of Smash Bros? I'm probably the Mr. Beast, right? Do the Oh we're giving the, ourselves oh, yeah, 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 I yeah. get you, I get you. I'm, I'm the Mr. Beast of Smash Bros. Uh, honestly, probably. Well I, I feel like I, I do the stupidest ideas and I have the most yeah. subs. <laughs> so most money. I That's actually true. think I actually think that might be it. That's an apt comparison. Do you have anything that... I don't know you? enough YouTubers. Yeah, I don't know any <laughs> YouTubers. I know. Oh, oh, well. I got Bad. the Jake Paul Mr. In. Beast is the one YouTuber. Yeah, I That's was thinking it. the same thing. I'm like, how many YouTubers do I know? <laughs> yeah. Tony, you can be the Ludwig of Smash. No, the mogul oh male. God. Isn't Specifically Ludwig the, mogul. the Ludwig of Smash? No, but he's moved far beyond Smash. Like he's, he's elevated. This is a very abstract topic <laughs> at the moment. Dude, yeah, I, I, I hate the Ludwig comparison because I literally just wear a hat and yell. And people are like, oh my god, he's like Ludwig. I, dude, and I'm sure you got a lot of this. It's like when people accuse you of trying to be another YouTuber, I fucking, huh, like, Alfred. come on, man. Yeah. Oh, god. It's, well, people love comparisons. They just like they really do. Yeah. They're like this is like this because I'm already familiar with Alpha Red, and then you see this person that's like even very like vaguely similar, and you're like, this is Alpha Red, but worse. This is what <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, yeah, it, well, it's if if that's all you've known, like if your only concept of content creators is the world of Smash, it's like if anybody does anything funny in Smash, it's an Alpha Red clone. You know what I mean? It's like. Mm. People just have such a small, narrow-minded view Bastards. of that stuff. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not happy about Whoa. it. <laughs> Jordan, no swearing it's on this true, podcast. True. Please. <laughs> Should we get our main segment? I was about to out? say, we got a little... Yeah, we got a game. We got a game. of a game, yeah. Oh, let's do it. Okay. Jackson's got, I got something the game prepared. on my phone. So What's it called I mean, again? It's called Hate It or Rate It. It's very creative. Um, okay. On. Hold on. Right, so we're basically just going to ask you... A topic, and you tell me if you rate it or you hate it, and then you can expand on it if you feel that'll uh, be good. Absolutely. Right. Editing your own videos. <laughs> oh, hate it. Oh, my God. No goddamn way. Absolutely me too, not. yes. Have you even done it no, to, to I hate, hate it? No, Wait, I, I, I know that I should because it creates like... It, it's it's like it creates that whole like it's a personal connection and it makes it better and it's like I just don't have the time no I ta- dude I, Z you and I talked about this at CEO I don't know how you do it it's exhausting see I don't edit all my videos anymore I it's kind of eye opening like because I edited my own videos on the channel for like two full years and then I finally found someone that I trusted enough to edit and some of the stuff that Derek 
my editor picks out to make fun of or to focus on is stuff that I would never, you know, even think of myself. He'll be watching and find some moment in the gameplay Mm. that's just so funny, but like I would never look at it myself Mm. and he'll make a whole joke (laughs) out of it. And I'm like, shit, and it's given me a lot of ideas myself. But like, I don't see anything wrong with getting someone else to edit your stuff. As long as it's like- You have to really trust them though. Like you were saying, it's hard. But no offense to you, Kony, you're probably a worse editor than all of yours. For me, it was like Oh, no question. Yeah. I had spent so much time editing in my life. I was like, didn't know if I could get someone that I thought Mm. could match the style. Whereas if you don't edit currently, then yeah. Yeah, I mean, Uh, editing is just hard. Yeah. I hate editing because it feels like I have an idea in my head and it's mm. like for this one bit that I had the idea for, which is like a uh, maybe a three second bit, like a five second bit, I need to edit for thirty minutes because I got to <laughs> figure out how to do it. I got to Google it. I got to like. That's exactly I just, me. I hate that. Yeah, I definitely remember no that when I because I definitely used to edit a lot more compared to now, and I, you just unlocked this memory of when I was learning to edit, and I was like, oh, it'd be really funny if when it was like Ness hit the. Du- a duck hunt can or something and I was like I'll make it mm. Wii Sport and track the ball with the can or it was just some sure. it was motion just one, tracking it was one little oh. joke and then I'm like Jesus Christ what have I done to myself <laughs> <laughs> you really think it would be easier like you think it's exactly. like an easy process it's not no it's awful yeah, no, my Google history is just like how to do X, Y, Z, <laughs> Premiere Pro how to do this, <laughs> Premiere Pro over and over and over again it's depressing I, I do that and then I forget. I used to edit and I would be like, how do I do motion tracking? And then I wouldn't work on a video for like three months. And three months later, how do I do motion tracking? <laughs> I had to relearn all the bullshit. It's stupid. Have you edited any videos on your channel? No. Heavens no. None. That's uh, insane. You have like a, a guy and several editors that just sort of, your channel sort of is obviously it does managing itself. it. But yeah, it runs itself to an extent. I respect that. Yeah, so that. basically, I, uh, I I just, I have a guy that does the scheduling, the thumbnails, the titles, he gets the editors, like, my, my YouTube is not me. If you see somebody posting on my YouTube, like, as a community post, like, th- doing one of the poll things, like, hey guys, how's your Thursday go? That's not me. Oh, that's, don't break that's the illusion, oh, no, I've, I've been You're responding to those polls. Hard, I've been saying, <laughs> add some my DMs in the community <laughs> post replies. <laughs> I've heard nothing back. It no, explains mate. it all. Right, YouTube is not me. Right? YouTube is it. It is a simulation of me. No, yeah, someone else messaging on your Discord. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right. What's the all next? Right, the next rated question? or hate it, which uh, is uh, airplanes. Uh, you know we just what? Put airplanes. Uh, <laughs> so we wrote. I think you. Anyway, yeah, you answer, Coney. Airplanes as a concept, just like in That's general. A, I, yeah. I think we're going thing. more like travel, but feel free to elaborate what or whatever. Saying? He can't travel. Like, well, of course he wants a plane. But I don't like traveling, I, but I need to. Yeah, so sure. you kind of rate. I, I like I the it. big, the big metal bird. You know. Um, mm. I think that it's. I, I love traveling, but there is like, so so I did CEO or crowned to CEO to Gommel, mm. and uh, everybody says travel is exhausting, it sucks, blah blah blah. But like three events in a row, and you really start to feel it. Um, do, you, do you go home in between? Yes. Okay. But but it's still exhausting because I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, like, yeah. if I fly out Friday mm, yeah. and then Saturday, Sunday, come back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, stream back on Friday, like, it doesn't oh, stop, yeah. you know? Fuck. So, uh, no, I, I love I love traveling. I think I think the feeling of being in a plane, a big uh, big sky bus never gets old for me. I, I Maybe I'm a kid that way. I love it. God bless travel. That's what I say. Right. Next one, Tony. <laughs> you just were saying you hated travel. I will say, however, I will say when I traveled down to your guys' oh, God. island. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. My wife was pregnant. 28 oh, hour right. flight or whatever mm. it was. And that's with your a human fault. in her belly. That's great. <laughs> yeah. That's on you. I, I believe Yeah, I'm a bad husband. Yeah, no, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. But uh, I wasn't going to go without her because I, you know, 
I, I wanted to go to Australia my whole life, so I was like, all right, you're coming. And she was miserable, but I got to watch <laughs> movies and fall asleep, so it was great. Skipped over the her being miserable part pretty quick. <laughs> oh, miserable. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, you know she's I very to me, Thor so it's two. like par for the course, you know. <laughs> oh, God, this is taking a It's 2 a.m., and I'm yelling about video games as a 33-year-old man. Again. Like, she's used to being, you know, miserable. So. What do you think about airplane culture? What's your favorite part of it? What does that mean? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a good culture. question. I don't know what that means. The culture. No, I got several. The crying babies. Several parts. It's mostly just impatient uh, Karen, like 40-year-olds. So there's the one ah, where sure. they do the, the planes boarding and people jump up to get on immediately when there's just oh, forms a massive yeah. line. And you could just wait. Dude, and that's me. I'm busting to the front of the line. line. Get me. I'm, I'm excited Are to you get on the, the middle bird. You're one of the people that stands up and clogs the aisle mm-hmm. as soon as the plane mm-hmm. lands too. Big time. Fuck you. I wait. won't I won't clog the aisle to get out, but I'm I'm definitely on the... Dude, I'm an asshole. When it comes to traveling, I'm not... Because de- I'm always alone. So, like, I'm not trying to deal with all this, like... I've had too many experiences where people have just been... Uh, annoying or inconsiderate or whatever. Mm. So I just have, like, my hood up and my headphones on, and I do my best to just shuffle past everybody. So I am toxic in uh, <laughs> in the airplane culture, but it, you have to be. Yeah, you've got you've got to just stake your claim. The one I hate is when you sit down and yep. you've got the armrest, you look at the guy next to you like, well, who's going to get this one? Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Well, on the fun. etiquette, that is, that is culture. The guy in the middle is supposed to get it. What? That's the play. Yeah, that's, the, that's correct. Oh, I think so. <laughs> I, was having, oh, I was having an armrest battle on one of my flights really? to Florida. Did you win? Uh, you know, it's, it comes in waves, you know. I mm. won several battles, but not the war. Because I don't think I got it when <laughs> I fell asleep. I always win because I got bony elbows. So if it gets if <laughs> Come push on, comes to shove, you know, you just chuck that on them. That'll Jab them in the ribs a bit. Exactly, exactly yeah. yeah. But you know, like they get up to go to the toilet. You can sort of get a few inches, get the elbow securely oh, in place. Man. Or if they start to be eating asleep. on the trade table, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. You know what's yep. up. Yep. Right, next one. <laughs> um, reaction videos. What do you think about reaction videos? Oh, my God. You know what? I love them now. i got to be honest. Wow. I, I am not a consumer of reaction content uh, because I'm I'm a grown man. Um, I love but reaction as anyway. Little boy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> d- dude, honestly, like, so I used to, like, look at them with disdain and, like, you know, I'm above that, blah, blah, mm. blah. But there is something so truly uh, gut wrenching when, like, you spend hours and hours of man hours putting together this video with a script and editing and highly processed whatever, and it gets like you know maybe uh, sixty, eighty k views, and then I put out a video of me watching YouTube, and it does like one fifty. You know what I mean? Like it's not. It's it's just. It's the future. It's That's what the kids want. It's actually just good content. Have you guys seen that channel, uh, Sniper yeah, It's good content because it's stolen. <laughs> True. You're stealing <laughs> other people's good content. And True. like, I don't like the premise of it. Have you seen that channel though, Sniper Wolf? She has oh, like God, 22 yes. yep, yep, million yep. subs and all she does is watch TikTok. It's insane. She posts every day. It's unbelievable. Wow, it is cr- yeah. crazy. But I actually, that's the content I watch. Every time I watch YouTube... All I watch is XQC watching videos. That's all I watch on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I watch him watch TikToks or I'll watch him watch anything. Whatever he's watching, you So you're exactly. reaction pilled. That's funny. I'm, okay. Dude, it's all I watch. It's actually it. I love it. You're in the... It's good yeah. content. That's really funny. I, I uh, yeah, I, I don't watch reaction stuff because I'm, like, the only stuff I watch on YouTube are, like, you know, long-form video essay stuff or... Underdogs like, videos, stuff like that. Or underdog. That's yeah. exactly yeah. where I was yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought yeah, so. Or, or Director Cogger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, That's it. But, no, I, I, uh, I, I'm not a consu- I don't smoke my own stuff, so it's, like, I don't know. It's tough. Do you watch your own videos on YouTube ever? Sometimes, like if I want to get a sense of how my editors are doing or mm-hmm. like, because like it's also good to see another perspective because <laughs> like there are countless times when I'm streaming and I'm like, damn, I'm not really funny tonight. And then mm-hmm. I watch the video back. I'm like, oh, OK, they made me funny. Thank God. Somebody had to. It's funny um, you say like check back yeah. in every like few weeks. You like imagine you check back in. Do I like still a bunch got of it? Ads for crypto or I was more thinking you said check on your editors. Like they start What's adding. What happened in to my channel? Oh, man. Man. <laughs> Problematic <laughs> memes and they're trying to sell their own shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, they could say anything. They could make me say anything. Yeah, that's true. They yeah. full on deep fake you and it's just doing like Russian government propaganda or something. 
there, there is something to that. Like, since I don't do any of my YouTube stuff, sometimes, like, my guy will, like, put out a poll or something or, like, say something that I wouldn't say. And I'm like, oh, God, people are going to, like, have this perception of me now. You know what I mean? Like, when you put your face in the hands of other people, it's, like, weird, you know? That is weird. Wait, so when, when the editors edit your videos, do you watch them before they get uploaded? No. Me nope. either, bro. Yes, someone nope. else. Yeah. Well, nope, we're I'm celebrating not, not being sure if we're uploading good content. I just trust my editors, man. Uh, <laughs> nope. Hey, save. if it's, if it's a 6 out of 10 in terms of content, I don't give a shit. There will be another one in a few days. It's but fine. If, exactly. But if it's a 6 out of 10 on YouTube, Coney gets the whip out. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can't yeah. have some... I, I think there's a difference in our processes, man. Because, like, for you, your videos are like, you 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 put out like <laughs> cinema, right? Like, what? No, I don't no. Think, okay, compared I don't, to me and Coney, yeah. Actually, I've yeah, I yeah, I think me and Poppet are are on the same wavelength. I think like little Z videos bro. are like. It's like a finely crafted, like, you have to, like, come up with the idea. You have to make sure the idea has wings and can actually be executed in real <laughs> can life. I, can I just say, I wasn't editing. the one to I'm just say watching I a fucking cinema. movie. <laughs> you yeah. need to get that quote on your YouTube at the top. This is cinema. Little Z videos are like cinema. <laughs> yeah, actually. I don't think yeah, you're going to get that review again. We'll take that out of context. Thank you. <laughs> Even in context, it's very, very it's nice. Thing. Yes, <laughs> the yeah. I think I think I think we live in different worlds. I think you put out cinema. I put out content, which is to get you through maybe fifteen minutes of your life until the next one. If if, like if money was no objective and you weren't worried about that, would you try and make cinema content? Does it interest you at all? Oh yeah, I think yeah. so. I, I think it's not a money thing; it's a time thing. Sure, for me like. I just don't have the time to invest. So, like, streaming is... It, it's both streaming and YouTube for me. So, it's yep. like you have to cover both bases, you know? Mm -hmm. If I didn't have the full-time job at Panda 2, I probably would just focus on the content and have a couple different channels. But, you know... I mean, you got a family, I thought about bro. That too, yeah. <laughs> compared to <laughs> us, we're, like... Especially, like, Zach and stuff compared to Coney in terms of how you're saying he's got so much time. But, I don't know. That seems hectic. Like, Panda and a family and... Yeah, Freaking. it's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have? It's tough I to balance, but you know. So you're gonna say, do you have hobbies or like <laughs> anything else you do? <laughs> no, do not you really. <laughs> not any. My hobby is my kid. That's basically it. All my other time is taken up by spending mm. time with Juliet. So that's oh, basically that's nice. it. Yeah, that is cute. Do you have a big idea? If money, time, whatever, wasn't an issue. Oh like my god! Any yes. any idea that you would want to make a video on? Zach's gonna steal yep. it right now. I Be have careful. A, uh, I have a parachute. <laughs> if uh, if I ever wanted to get out of content specifically, I have an exit plan, and I have a YouTube idea, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I don't want canceled. people on this podcast. That'll can we edit right, it out? Because I can tell you. Um, oh, we don't edit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, about, how about this? I was gonna you say I'm not telling you that. I'm not DM letting people on the steal Discord. this. We could read it later. <laughs> you tell us later, but for now, you tell us your okay. idea that. You don't mind people knowing. Does he have one? Your number two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my number two is whether it's, uh, I think there's a lot of old, like, I don't know if you've seen, like, the Melee content, but there's a lot of old, like, Melee uh, story content of, like, sets oh, that are famous. Oh, yes, or, yes. Like, big things I used happen. to love watching those. What, do you remember the channel name? Yes. I remember a good channel. What? Do you remember what it's uh, called? One of them is Melee Stats, which does, like, no, uh, <laughs> they've done stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, and it's like them talking about it would be like the old players like Ken versus uh, it was like some Korean like oh Japanese Falco who like learned how to do the pillar combos first, and it would just go yes. really yeah, in yeah, depth. Yeah. I love those videos, Bomb Soldier or something. Yeah, Anyways. there's uh there's a lot of old stories from Brawl that people don't know. Mm. Like there's a story of uh there was back in Brawl. I love this fucking story. There was a top Marth player that ran into a DK player. The DK player is a guy named Ook who lived in Michigan and would walk barefoot around in the snow. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> That's and, a uh, DK player if I've ever fucking <laughs> heard one. He's training. Yeah, dude, and he had like long curly hair down to his waist. Like he looked like a jungle man. It was crazy. Are you sure he wasn't um, Donkey Kong? He's Tarzan <laughs> himself. <laughs> It was actually like a Tarzan type yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he uh he might the the Marth player counterpicked him to Green Greens in in Brawl, which is like I don't know why it was legal, but it was at MLG, which is the stage with like, you know, the blocks and the tree mm -hmm. in the middle. Oh, Not Dreamland. Yeah, yeah. A weird stage. But like the yeah. bomb one. 
it's it's such a funny set, and I I I, I want to do like stories about sets that happened in Brawl and stuff like that. But it's just finding the time to make the script and stuff. And it's stuff. such a I'm small, gonna try to go with uh, PG audience. stats maybe and help them out. Mm. Oh yeah, because they've been doing idea. some of that stuff for Ultimate. Hey, jo exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Do well, you have a big idea like that, Jordan? Um. Well, my channel's kind of changing at the moment, honestly, in terms of like doing longer videos. Cinema to cinema. <laughs> yeah, a bit of cinema. Cinema, huh? Putting out some film. Yeah, a bit of film. So yeah, I don't know. My channel has kind of already changed. I, I mean, I won't talk about it for long because Coney's here. But like, yeah, my last video was like me learning Little Mac Little over. Mac. A, a long period of time and then at the moment i'm learning street fighter and i'll eventually enter a tournament for it that's awesome so I, I watched the little sick. mac one great video oh did you trying to win the tournament with yeah, little mac yeah yeah i like the idea <laughs> that the my content's changing too isn't like it weird isn't it weird when you have that sense that like your your stuff is shifting in that way you know what I mean? It's like, huh, this is like different than where it was like a year ago. Oh, you know? it's a very big, it's a bit of a scary jump, honestly. Actually, that's something interesting because you were yeah. a bit more, certainly more Smash focused before, right? Nah, not really. Like, I've oh, always tried to resist Twitch. being Smash specific, but it's like, I, I'm doing, I'm definitely swimming upstream. I'm doing things the hard way. Like, if I just put out Smash videos, I feel like I would be able to hit like, you know, 100k very quickly. But like, I don't know about your Twitch would be as popular time, though. You know, your but... Twitch is kind of doing really good by the looks of things. Yeah, I mean the Twitch is going pretty well. It's uh, it's it, on Twitch I'll do anything, and that's I think the issue is like on Twitch I can do anything, but on YouTube it's a very Smash related audience. Mm. So... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm a little stuck. Hard. So it's like I'm I'm serving two different masters on this, you know. I've tried branching out with other games like on the YouTube and that. And like Smash is such a specific niche. A lot of Smash players won't have that overlap into other games or that. No, and sometimes just liking a creator right. is not enough to like watch a video of me playing Fall Guys because the viewers only care about Smash. So I feel that. Yeah. But and um, it's weird because you would think that they would care about other Nintendo series, but they don't. Like, yeah, it's only Smash. It's crazy. <laughs> I was going to say, Jordan, I watched your Little Mac tournament video. It kind of sounds bad, but I specifically watched that one when I don't usually watch all of your videos because <gasps> you had told me that it was going to be like a longer one. Yeah. I could tell it was going to be more cinema. It was a bit more cinema. But yeah, I'm at that point now where I'm kind of taking that leap, I guess, into maybe not so Smash. That's why I was wondering if, Kony, you had ever had that moment of being like, oh shit, should I not just do Smash or like, am I taking a risk here? Oh but God, yeah. yeah. We've been, we like I said, we've been like doing things the hard way for a long time because it's like eventually we do want to break out, but it's like, honestly, in, in retrospect, I probably should have done Smash to like 100K and then branched, mm. like, and then jumped instead of like, because I've been doing YouTube for two years. Kind of like Alfred. Like, kind of yeah, jumped yeah, yeah. eventually. Maybe I, I probably should have just done that, but... Alfred was pretty yeah. variety from the start. Like, I did the only Smash, nothing else, till a million. Yeah, And then true, have true. started recently branching out a little bit more. Coney, it doesn't true. work. So, <laughs> you've done the right thing. <laughs> Going like, I'll just, I'll just stick with Smash to get the high numbers and then branch out. It's the exact same process of branching out. So, it's not... It doesn't help you yeah. too, too much. I, I feel like it, I'm I, I just think of it like digging a hole and you're in the hole and like <laughs> it just keeps going deeper and deeper, you know, and you're just stuck in there. But just <laughs> real quick before we move on to the next mm, hate it or sure. rate it, I w I'll share my idea that I would make if I had unlimited money. Oh, here we go. Time and yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. And you're pretty close. It, no, so. it's not that it's, <laughs> it's not that big, but it just I know the video wouldn't make money, but. I would love to do a fall, guys, but every time I don't win the crown, I fall from a higher place, <laughs> and eventually I skydive. <laughs> That's pretty sick, actually. So one, like, I'll do... I'll jump off what, like a single step and then two I'll jump from like a meter high You thing. shouldn't have put this out into the world someone's gonna do this for sure and get yeah, I'm and gonna take that I'm no, taking that shit they're not that's gonna excellent. take it alright yeah you go skydive he, he not, doesn't make cinema you won't be taking that <laughs> Coney, you go I was gonna say skydive. no I'll, I'll take it and I'll get 20k views I'll Fall steal your yeah. idea and get no viewers for it <laughs> Fall Guys go. doesn't get views that's why I mm. wouldn't do it I was thinking of doing it with the new release but then I was at CEO and all that stuff happened uh, But that's then, like, a great idea then you do like jump off a three meter high diving board jump off a 10 meter high rock face maybe yeah, do a yeah, bungee yeah. jump and then do a skydive it's a pretty good idea 
That is a lit. Hey, this idea might still come. This is why you're the podcast, cinema guy. Podcast yeah. commenters make it happen. Go crazy. It's pretty good. You oh. should set up a um, GoFundMe for that. It's it's not that. It's more like the time and the views would just not be worth it. Mm. And it's taking away like the time I spend on that is probably three Smash videos I could make. And right, yeah, that will reach maybe six times as many people. Mm. And I would just feel better about you know providing content for that way larger audience. Mm. As well. It's the opportunity cost, yeah. It's tough. It's tough out there being a creator. <laughs> you would know, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a video coming out soon, everyone. All right. <laughs> one a year. Next one. <laughs> uh, more than two commentators. The Tricoms, the couch uh, commentary. Ooh. Hated or rated. That's a good one. Mm, I thought That's that one. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what it is? It's, uh, it's a sometimes treat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a, a Turkish delight every night, yeah. you know? You're well, sick of it. No. You mad exactly. Man. Yeah, you gotta you gotta treat it like it's special. So after uh, quarantine, after the pandemic ended or whatever, uh, and we went back to tournaments, there was a period of time where me, TK, and EE were doing TriCast literally every weekend, and like I it just that. loses you are the big three. something. What'd you say? I was just saying you are the big three. Sorry, it was just a bit of a passing yeah, yeah, comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah. I mean, like we did everything. <laughs> Uh, for for a couple weeks, and then it's just like you lose. I don't know. It, it loses its luster very quickly. If you don't have three people who've worked together forever, it gets very tough because everybody's trying not to speak over each other and like step on each other's toes. It's, yeah, it's hard. What about like the summit couches? Do you find that that's too many people, or do you find that everyone sort of takes a bit more of a back seat so it works? Summit's way easier because it's so casual that it's like oh yeah. wow. If I'm if I'm working an event, I almost feel inclined to like I have to earn like they're paying me to be here, so I do want to give like good input and I'm trying to like, you know, be on the, if I'm at a summit couch, I'm like, fuck it, I just won't talk for thirty minutes. Who cares? Yeah, you know? Well, There's but, enough people on this couch, it's fine. It's a different vibe, you know? Yeah. For those who don't know the summit couch is like there's the inv invitational tournaments mm. where like the commentary will be like four people sitting on a couch commentating. And then sometimes there's the fifth microphone as well. What, if you yeah, were to build, I, I, I want to give players the opportunity to talk on that too, because they don't get to that much. So, yeah. like, you know, people can hear me any weekend, but they don't get to hear like you know tweet talk or. But anything, there's so. usually a reason for that. I, <laughs> I feel was like. gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, usually the the I think people will tune in and they're like, oh, I want to see what my favorite player has to say, and then after thirty minutes, they're like, wow, he's dumb as shit. I yeah. don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm done with that actually. <laughs> if yeah, you were uh, at summit couch with four people. One of them is you, of course, and uh -huh. a player at the group microphone. Build your perfect commentary couch. You three. Done. Oh, oh, the right answer, the baby. Underdogs. Right <laughs> answer. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, yes. If you can't hear that, we're playing a uh, clapping sound effect for uh, that answer. Oh, I couldn't hear it, but that was a good... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah, think yeah. so. Uh, but real answer. <laughs> Uh, probably. This could be a bit spicy. He might, he might dig himself a hole here. No, no, no. I like. You know what? I really like casting with Charles because I think Charles oh, is like, very like good. Uh, with with his insight and like the things mm. that he'll point out that a lot of casters won't. I love Charles. Uh, probably. Uh, I really like working with TK or EE. Probably one of those two. Mm -hmm. And then if I had to pick a player, well, which one? Um. <laughs> Probably <Dang>. Marks. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying which one out of TK. Oh, which one, TK e? or EE? E? Oh god. Uh, Unless you, you can have depends. both. I could have both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's if it's five, yeah. If one of them is sitting on the mic in the back, yeah, one of those two on the mic in the back, and then yep. uh, Mars is the player because mm. he can he can talk a lot of shit and like he's funny with it. You know what I mean? It'd be good. I'm definitely liking seeing more of the personalities come out of some of the players. Like Light as well has been really good lately. I've like uh, oh the, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen much of that, but uh, Light at Smash Summer, I think it was. I don't know. He's just got a really good, funny personality that's been coming out. I wish there was a bit more of that in the in the Smash scene. But you're right. Sometimes it doesn't work out <laughs> at all. Yeah. Depending on yeah. Who's light uh, rules. Talking. It's and and it's weird because you wouldn't think like. You put the buzz on a mic, and you'd be like, "Oh, he probably isn't great at commentary. He's probably too." But no, he's he's awesome. Meanwhile, I don't want to say any names, but there are some players that you think would be good, 
at like you know getting their personality out there and they clam up they're super shy yeah so well it's like, the buzz does stream i guess it's more the people who aren't even wanting to put themselves in that space and then suddenly they're thrust into the spotlight or something yeah but but it's weird because like you said light is very like personal or personable he's like good in that environment but he doesn't stream that much he just doesn't you yeah, know why I mean? does he not like, stream it's a weird thing. that's weird <laughs> yeah. you know what i've found um so obviously i haven't been to that many american tournaments but just from my interactions with people players sure. are very hit or miss whether they are like easy to talk to like good to get along oh with, yes have like a confident personality in that commentators I mean, it obviously makes sense, but commentators yeah. are so easy to get along with. Just like, because right. it was my first time at CEO hanging out with a lot of the commentators like TK, EE, and uh, like Charles and all them. And they're just yep. so easy to talk to, which makes a lot of sense because they're the guys on commentary. But it's just, <laughs> but and then like some players, but it's more like a diamond in the rough with players that well, they're I just feel like a game, really, right? They're yeah. there for the grind, bro. It, it's absolutely different. You're right. It's It feels like one in every, like, I don't know, six or seven players is, like, somebody you could talk to about anything other than the game. Like, because that's all they want to do is talk about the video game. It's mm. it's uh, it's crazy. Smash all people right. like yeah. Smash. Do we have another... <laughs> Who would hate? have thought? Uh, rate it or hate it. Now, this one will cut deep, but being short, how do you feel about that? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> we were the same fucking height. We tested this at CEO. Wait. No, that was Jackson. That was Jackson. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Jackson's tell. taller than me. No, I'm not as tall as Jackson. Yeah. But that's not. How how tall are you? You're like 6'9", right? Like 6'10". <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more than that. He's oh, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like 7'1", right? 7'1", yeah. yeah, minimum. But how do, how do you rate <laughs> yeah, or hate being short? Day. How do you feel about it? I don't, I, I wouldn't know. I would hate being short if I was short. It's a good thing that I'm average. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Otherwise, I would hate it, you know. All right, our next one. Do you hate being old? I have no kidding. defense on that one. Uh, you, I, I feel like being no, old. That was not a real question. <laughs> that was no, joke, no, no, Cody. hold on. I, no, I, hold on. I'm going to answer it, though, because I think <laughs> it offers me unique perspectives in a way that these fucking 21-year-old content creators and smashers don't have. I think it's a good thing, okay? Being a bit more seasoned. But you will die first. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. That's debatable. I I will, that I is true. I, I don't think you will. For, I think the 21-year-old smashers will die first. That's a good point, actually. Just a theory of mine. Yeah. We'll I mean, the place. stress of smashes the tournament dumb. atmosphere sounds pretty draining, you know? Yeah, so. exactly. I feel like you'd only live to about 35 yeah. playing Smash. I suppose we'll find out. The yeah. better you become at Smash, it <laughs> seems like the dumber and less general knowledge you have. Hey, I mean, hang, on, hang, <laughs> on, hang on, hang on, hang <laughs> on. I know some things. All right, what's... <laughs> we've got, um, we've got two left. We've got collaboration videos. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I love actually collaborating with people. The process of trying to set it up is so exhausting. I fucking mm. hate it. Oh, you all want to fucking talk? <laughs> I, I know. I, that's why, though, is like, it's so hard to do that. It's so. Wait, I, we didn't explain. I am the, should we explain that we tried to do this podcast last week and then yes. Coney, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coney was yeah. not able to make it? Apparently his power went out. Not sure if that's true or not. I had no power, okay? There were crazy storms in my area. No, I hate the process, and, and it, it is me. I hate the process of, like, having to check in with people, like, hey, are we still good for Wednesday? Mm. Are we showing up Wednesday? Okay, this time, right? Are we good? And then they don't show up, and you plan the whole goddamn thing. It's, I think it's a Twitch thing, too. Because on YouTube, you can just put it off and do it later. On Twitch, mm. it's like, if I plan for something at 8 p.m., and they don't show up, I'm like, oh, I got to do this other thing now. You know what I mean? It's yeah. different. Do you have, like, backup ideas that you're like, oh, this guy didn't show up. Guess I'll react to, Probably you know, one. bottle flipping video. Yeah. I don't know. What do you, what do you, what's Usually your backup? Usually that's it. Usually the, the old reaction is the backup. Or, mm. like, you know, it, it, that's usually the, the second play. But it's like, it still sucks to do. You know what I mean? Um Especially because a lot of the collab stuff that I want to do is, like, a bunch of people. So, it's, like, I don't want to check in with, like, ten different people. You know what I mean? It's just, ugh. <laughs> just turn yeah. up. That's the uh, the summary of that one. Kind of, yeah. But, but I mean, if once I'm in it, I enjoy it and I like doing it. I just hate all the admin around it. It's just, ugh. No, that's definitely fair enough. Mm. Yeah. All right, the last one we've got written down is Vegemite. 
Classic. Oh, I hate it. It's <laughs> disgusting. Damn, that Did was a visceral some? reaction. Wait, did you try no, some when you I were here? I don't like it at all. Uh, yeah, I tried it? it. I hated it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, I hated that stuff. Mallory loved it. Like, she wanted to take a bunch of it home. Um, yeah, I couldn't stand it. I don't think you can... Can you buy it anywhere in America? There must no, be novelty shops. No, we shops. don't have it. Really? One. Really? Our government protects us from it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Shout oh. out to the government. <laughs> no, Matt. Yeah, Mal's the hero. You probably had too much. That's Likes always the thing, right? Too much. No, no I, I didn't even like it from the start. It was disgusting it the first no, time no, no, I no, tried no. it. I mean, you got to put a little so bit on. Salty. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, I remember I had much. my first Vegemite sandwich, and I had only ever had peanut butter sandwiches before that. So I caked my freaking toast in Vegemite. It was no, oh terrible. my god. No bueno. But I learned. I don't even know what Vegemite like actually is even still. I just know it's it it's fucking like salt. yeast or That's something. That's all isn't it is. It? Yeah, you so don't salty. need to know what it is. You just eat it every day for, of your life. <laughs> 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 I don't think many Australians know what it is. Yeah, isn't it yeast? yeast. It's, yeah, it's, it's, what it is, it's Vegemite. It's Vegemite. <laughs> but it's like yeast malt extract. Yeah, that's what it with is. With B12. See, we all know. <laughs> yeah. It's a couple of Australians who know. It's oh gross. Boy. I'm not into it. Cody, yeah. I got a question about uh, composition of uh, commentators. Like in other sports yeah, yeah, yeah. and professional sports, there's often like a flavor commentator and then like a analytical commentator. Do you feel like that rings true in Smash or does that not really translate mm. as much? Not really. Because like because of the lack of structure in Smash and like when you get hired for an event, you don't say like, hey, I'm only going to work with this guy or this mm-hmm duo or trio or whatever the best skill you can have in smash isn't like being play-by-play or color or whatever you want to say the best skill you can have is just to be like malleable Mm. like you have to be as flexible and as able to work with somebody like anybody they put you up with as possible uh because you're right there's not like any structure it's just like yeah we're gonna put you with that person because they're available today yeah so okay <laughs> um, have you had any like nightmare commentary blocks i'm sure you probably oh my God, have had yes. a lot but any that sort of stand out yeah, as what especially was bad <laughs> you don't have to give any Dude, names absolutely but... yes Damn. um my favorite story which was my least favorite at the time so uh i once worked a smash and splash which is like a big it's a water park tournament here mm-hmm. so yeah. they have these indoor water parks and they you know they have these big tournaments and i got hired to do top eight with a uh, a content creator who will remain nameless, um, but they are like an outer like a bigger and splash content creator. Content creator. I think smash. we could find it if we if we really <laughs> yeah, wanted yeah, yeah, yeah. to. Anyways, um, so they got they got brought in like to do commentary for this, and uh, we did a block the day before, just like test it out before we did top eight, and they did fine. Um, he's a really cool guy. He's very easy to talk to, very personable. He's he's honestly great for this kind of thing. Um, so we do that block and it goes fine and I'm excited for top eight and then, uh, top eight comes around and I think there was like, there was some unusual character in the top eight. I forget who it was. It wasn't Ganon, but it was somebody exciting and I'm doing the normal thing of like the top eight starts at smash and splash and I'm ramping it up. I'm like, okay, and now we're here at Smash and Splash 2019 with the, the, the with Top 8. It's about to start. These guys are some of the best players in the country, and we can't wait to see what's going to happen here in Loser 7s. And then, total silence. Brilliant. The guy didn't say anything. He just totally left me out to dry. <laughs> and oh, no. If you, it, it, that set is still on YouTube. Uh, like I said, he's a, he's a big sweetheart. I love this guy. But he totally clammed up. And I, it was like solo the commentary. Pressure. He didn't say anything. Do you think it was the pressure um, that got to him? Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, it was the wow. pressure. And he felt like he had to add something. To his, like He didn't know Smash that well. Uh, he felt like he had to add something or only chime in if he had stuff to say. Mm. Um, but it was like he just clammed up. It was so weird. So I'm doing solo commentary to the point where they had to bring in Hungry Box. <laughs> What, to they were in? like, hey, we need somebody tap else out, on the mic. We need to bring... Oh, so they brought no. in a third guy to, like, no, help no. things out. Oh, 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 oh out. I get you. I, I thought it was, like, a bit of a trichuri there. Got a bit of silence? No, no, no. They brought Just him in for a try yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Famous yeah. silent man. Each box yeah, we'll talk to each other. <laughs> Hungrybox streams by himself, like, 
all day. He we all feel any side. Dude, he's a fiend. He like just yes. has a whole tournament and then just commentates it himself. That's amazing. I, I don't d- know how he he doesn't stop. He it's, is content brain. It's actually it's crazy. insane. I do wonder if what you're saying about how having the analytical and mm. um, whatever person will maybe change in the future when because at the moment it's like honestly a lot of the time. I guess there's exceptions. It's the Charles, especially being one of them. But it's like the commentators right. usually aren't as in depth, knowing as like the top For players sure. yeah. anyway. Yeah. And it's like right compared to let's say basketball, where it's like oh, a retired like all star player will mm. then move on to commentary. Yeah, that well, spot hasn't definitely. really hit yet in Smash Bros. Well, you had Jackie Peanuts yeah. on the CEO commentary. That was like yeah. a new thing. Mm. PG stats. Uh, so Jackie Peanuts knows like a whole bunch about analytics and you had Hungrybox and Vicky being like the two commentators but then he was yeah. like the analytics guy that would chime in a lot less often than the regular yeah, two commentators yeah. but it like like a special comments yeah when guy. you need the info on like what two people's like bracket record is or like you know just any sort of stats I feel like that used to be a big thing yeah, but, but they even were pushing then, that's still different like, to oh sorry yeah you go on no, I was just going to agree with you. I think that's still different, though, because that's just, like, numbers and, like, yeah, yeah. how much people have met as opposed to, like, this is what's happening in this moment or mm. how this oh, matchup yeah. Because at the know? moment, that still doesn't happen too much. It seems to be a lot of guessing. And to compare it to, I guess the best thing I've seen this in is, like, maybe, like, UFC, like, fighting or something. And then the person on commentary will be explaining what the two people are thinking about or how they're trying to get out of a certain situation. And, yeah, I guess right. that doesn't happen as much at the moment that's all i do when i commentate smash though i just invent what they're thinking but i'm always but yeah yeah, exactly (laughs) but i say like oh he's just psychoanalyze yeah 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 yeah. just make some shit up that's pretty much what my commentary is but it's like you're sitting there trying to commentate m cali over spargo and you're like oh i don't know what the hell they're thinking guys that's why i'm here he's got he's spot dodging a lot probably having some relationship troubles (laughs) (laughs) really get to the bottom of it you know, the hardest part is when you're watching someone playing like an absolute degenerate and you're trying to justify it. <laughs> when it's a Steve that's done, they're like, oh, yeah, they did the seventh up tilt in a row because they uh, didn't hit the, the other. Stuff. They didn't hit the first six. <laughs> so they kept going. Yeah. Or like, yeah, this yeah, cousin it, is it, using it, it becomes an art to to have to um, to ha- to praise some uh, more degenerate style. <laughs> That's such a classic when it's like, wow, such a great read on them missing the tech when they do something clearly accidental and the commentators <laughs> will be like, so incredible. Like <laughs> the, yeah, the way the, the top players done that. Yeah, yeah for sure. I think a lot of players, a lot of casters just don't know either. Like they, they actually think that it's a good, because like the other thing is I've done that before where I've been like, wow, that was a dumb play. <laughs> and then people will like rake you across the coals for that. They'll be mad at you. It's like you. I've watched enough Smash to know when somebody does something stupid. You know? <laughs> mm. Well then, <laughs> well, that we was the end of our raid. Yeah. Right? yeah, that's about just coming to the end of our podcast now, Coney. Unless okay. you got, you didn't obviously read my DMs about the other thing that we <laughs> were going to attempt to do, did you? Oh, I forgot about that. You're right. There was the other thing. Oh, yeah. no, I forgot. No, we no I did to... read it. I forgot about it hey, until just now. <laughs> the other thing. Oh, I know this. Yeah, we'll, yeah, have yeah, to, yeah, yeah. we'll have to save it for next podcast, I think. Episode 50. Oh, I would maybe, love to come back. Absolutely. Maybe you'll be this our, was fun. It was just quarter. good catching up with you guys. Mm. Yeah, good to chat again. It's been three Definitely. years. <laughs> it's been a long time, yeah. It's been a while. I'm trying to get down there again at some point. Definitely. I know you guys have Phantom going on soon, right? That's yeah, this, this weekend. weekend. This yeah. weekend. That's this oh, weekend, everyone right? should yeah, tune yeah, into yeah. that. Okay. What I, it probably gets more than the Underdogs podcast, but apparently, I think Ludwig yeah. and the whole crew, Mango, IDBW. Yeah, that's huge. A lot of, a lot of melee a lot of people melee. going. Yeah, a lot of money. And, and Neotono <laughs> for some fucking reason. Nia Tono <laughs> oh, yeah, down. I saw that. I looked at the seeding and I'm like, oh, Jay Dizzle's like second seed, so I guess it's not them. Neotono, what the? Just f- out of okay. nowhere. Oh, that's sick. We always invite, Australia has this thing where we invite one top player, try to beat them, and end up just losing money <laughs> to them. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. The it's last, a- last, was it Phantom? Oh, yeah. Was uh, Dark Wizzy was the one. Yeah. yeah. And he beat everyone. And right. then he got to go to Summit because he won Phantom. Yeah, yeah. We had the classic uh, foe beat extra, right? At BAM? No, extra no, beat Extra foe. beat foe. That oh, was our one that time. Was a, that was our that one. That was our one time. We got foe. Imagine coming to Australia and losing. You'd have to be fucking bad. <laughs> Dude, I am a, how scared are the people who come to Australia and they're just sitting there, everyone barracking against them? I imagine oh. that's what it's like travelling for any top player though, right? 
But I feel like Australia is so specific because we just invite one person <laughs> and cheer. Yeah, it feels the personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feed them veggie. It's like a boss battle. Shoes. Yeah. <laughs> This I will say there was like I I had the top player experience despite not being good where like I was playing Poppet and we played and he beat me and like it wasn't close he was clearly better than me and I turned around and there was like a crowd of people and they were like yeah and I'm like oh god what I I didn't even expect to win this match like I was like it's just something I, I like new went into in I went into game one and I'm like okay I'm pretty good against Ness I think I'll be okay and then it was you're clearly better and I'm like okay well he's winning this set and then I had like a big crowd I'm like oh geez all right that's, yay all right. shit Cody <laughs> <laughs> go back to commentating we beat him. Like, <laughs> after we invite you to commentate like get back on the mic it would be amazing <laughs> it would be amazing if a bunch like a huge bunch of Smash Ultimate players like went to America together I reckon that would be a good like cheering vibe because Australia we've got nothing to yeah. cheer for any change any new player comes we're like oh my god we finally can try and prove ourselves yeah. it's time yeah so the experience is the top but player but it's hard comes. to get everybody over yeah oh, for sure top player comes over gets cheered against the whole time if they come second they just feel so bad because they've lost in australia and then they get made to drink a <laughs> beer out of a shoe yeah <laughs> thanks for coming to top it all off try some vegemite yep. oh you fucking hate it fuck off back to america <laughs> 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 we'll see how near 28 hour goes. flight to get second drink beer out of a shoe and then get told to fuck off yeah <laughs> sweet that's australia yeah Oh, well, that's, that's a good spot to end yeah, it, isn't it? There we the go. Thank, Thank you yeah. very much, Coney, for yeah, joining us. Yeah, this was a lot us. of fun. Oh, absolutely. I'll do it any time. You just have to message me 80 <laughs> times in a row, and then I'll eventually respond. Any time, yeah. except for last week. <laughs> <laughs> if the power doesn't go out, if the stars align, that's we true. might have Coney back No, on. we've just had crazy storms around here. I don't know if it's like global warming, or uh, I don't know what it is, but yeah. Sorry, guys, uh, couldn't make it. Global warming. <laughs> it's a good excuse. Yeah, what are they going to say? It's true. Don't believe that's in that? Got, it's got to be climate change, for sure. It's got to be. Uh, All yeah. right, well... Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, just kill it. End it. Zach. Yeah, Coney, say yeah. something Done. to okay. finish us off. A final word. Thanks for watching, the Underdogs. We'll see you next time on episode 226. 26. <laughs> oh, Thanks yeah. for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, perfect. Thank you.